Okay, let's just look at the integration by part. Okay, so if we look at the integration by part, so the formula that we have is the integrations of u dv is equal to u v minus integrations of v du. Okay, so how am I going to use this formula? Okay, so you need to know we have a mnemonic device that to help you uh, to use this formula. Okay, the mnemonic device that we have here is, uh, we call it Liat, L-R-A-T-E. Okay, how are we going to use this one? So, um, okay, so let's look at this one. Okay, so the L here is actually stand for the log. So, uh, means that you may have log x, thing like that. Okay, uh, the I here is stand for the inverse tree goal. The inverse tree goal. For instance, you may come across um, sine inverse three x. Okay, and the a here is done for the algebra. Algebra. Okay, that is um. For instance, if you have the x square, or you have one. Okay, yeah, it's done for the a. And then we will have the tree goal. Okay, so we have a tree goal. So it means that is is uh you can, for instance, you have the tangents. And then uh for the x uh for the e, yeah, let's go for the exponent. So for instance, you have the e x square. Okay, so integration by part that is used that uh you have to follow the sequence. You have to follow the sequence. Which one, which term that appear first will be your du, okay? The thing that appear first will become your du. So your u, you have two parts, right? So u is go for the item that appear first. Appear first in the yeah. And du is go for the item appear later in here. Right? Okay. So you only have two parts. Okay, so we're going to use this formula uh, to solve most of the integration problem. Okay. So Let's just go for the example. Okay, so we have the integration by part. Okay, so um, so what you see here, there is the formula of the integration by part. So we have uh, this is the integrations of u dv equal to u v minus integrations of v du. Okay, so you look at this example. Okay, so how are we going to identify which one is the u and which one is the dv? Okay, so now this is the time you get, you need the year, okay? So, whatever that appears first, okay? So, we're going to assign it as the U. So, what you see here is you see the X, that is the algebra, and the second thing you see is you see sine X. So, sine X is actually the trigger function, so we're going to assign the U as the X, and the sine X as the V, right? Okay, so dv equal to sine x. Okay, every time, okay, uh, when you have the dv, you must together with the dx. So, now, uh, this is the thing that we have here. Okay, so remember, for the left-hand side, so what you have to do is for the left-hand side, so you're going to do the differentiation for the left-hand side. So you're going to differentiate, differentiate, okay? So you differentiate with respect to u, so you have 1. But you have the one the u here, okay? Oh, uh, you can think of my like that, okay? So we'll differentiate like this. So we we'll have three different shapes. Uh, this the u, and this the x. With respect to x, so you have this. And when you multiply this to the right hand side, you have the u equal to the x. But usually we don't write like this. So we directly omit the step of this. So then we go for this, right? So, okay, let me rewrite here. 
Okay, so in here, so the right here, this is for the left hand side, you have the du equal to dx. Right, okay. So now, for the left hand side, what happened to the right hand side? The right hand side, what you have to do is you're going to do the integrations. Okay, so you're going to integrate this one. Okay, so how to integrate it? So it means that you're going to integrate with respect to the dv on that side and integrate to dx on this side. So if you integrate with respect to dv, so what you have here is basically you will have v. Okay, how the right hand side? The right hand side you will have minus cos. Right. Now basically we will seen we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to divide this one. We're going to omit this step. So we just force it to this one. Right. So let me erase this. So in here, so you have, this is the V, and this is actually minus cos. All right. So once we have identified successfully um, what, what are the U, what are the U, what are the U, what, what is the U, and what is the V, and we're going to do the integrations by using the formula, okay? So obviously, okay, we can use the formula then now because it's now you can know that it's your u according to this formula, and you have this one as your v. This is v. Now we're going to use the right hand side of the formula. So let's see, uh, we're going to have um, that equal to u v minus v d u. Okay, so what is our u here? our u here that is the x so you have the x here and what is our v our v is actually minus minus cos x so we have minus cos x here right okay then followed by minus the integration the integrations of the v the integration of v that is this one again that is the minus cos x and then we have the du, what is the du? The u is actually dx. We have the dx here. So let's just simplify it before we go further. So if you simplify the first item, then you will have the minus x with cos x. And this one will give you minus minus will give you a plus. So you have integrations of the cos x dx. Okay. So now, after you have been simplified, so we have to integrate, okay, on this uh, cos, okay, so when you integrate the cosine, so you have this sign, so you have this sign. So we have finished the integration part, so don't forget to put a plus C for that. Alright, okay, so this is the answer for example one, okay, um, okay. For well, here, um, usually we don't write the polynomial anymore when you will be familiar with the formula. So we'll just directly go to the uh, calculation part, right? Okay. So this is the answer for the example one. So let's just look at the second example. Okay, for the second example, what you have here is only one x. Okay. So um, definitely we have no choice. Now one x is for the L that we have in here. Okay, so what happens to the another part? Okay, the another part is basically the dx. Why I say that? Because you can think of that the long x is actually multiplied with 1 dx. And the 1 dx is go for the algebra. Okay, so it means that what is a theater that is your u, your u is actually long x. And your dv, your dv is basically the 1dx. But instead of writing 1dx, we're going to write dx on it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. And if you're going to differentiate uh, with respect to the u in here, so you have the du, and in here you will have 1 over x dx. Okay. For the left hand side, we're going to do a differentiation. For the right hand side, we're going to do the integration. So for, if we integrate with respect to dv, so with respect to v, so we will have v. And this one, we will have x. Okay. 
So now, refer to the right hand side of your formula. Okay, once we have successfully identified u, d, u, and d, v. Next thing is you're going to use the right hand side of this formula and you're going to mark substitute inside here. Okay, so you're going to use it is equal to u, v minus integrate v, d, u. And your u is actually ln x, okay? And your v is actually x, and we have minus v. The v is x, and your du, your du is actually 1 over x dx. Right, okay. So, as I said, just moment, when you have familiar with the formula, we don't actually need to write it all over again, right? So, Okay, I'll drag it up, up a bit. Okay, so let's just simplify. Let's just simplify whatever that we have here. Okay, so if we simplify, um, we will have that this is actually give us x log x, and uh, what happened to here? You have x and one over x, so this is give you one dx. So one dx is actually dx. Okay, so then the thing becomes simple now so what you have to do is you integrate this one so you have minus x and don't forget to write the plus c so that is for example 2 now we have the third example so the third example is actually asked us to integrate with respect to t it doesn't matter um, what type of integrations that we have okay and what type of variable that we have okay as long as it's involved with integration by power we use this mnemonic and okay let's just look at here okay you have t square t square is we can use uh it's actually referred to the algebra and e power t is actually referred to the exponent okay so now means that okay the t power 2 appear first t power 2 appear first in the sequence of pairs okay so we have the u as t power 2 and the exponent exponent appear later then we have the dv so and then dv e t okay and whenever you have the dv you must have the dt together it's just that you are in that form of this one right u and this is your u and this is your dv right okay once you have successfully identified which one are which is the u and which one is dv the next thing is going to do the differentiation for the left hand side so to differentiate the left hand side you have du and this actually gives us 2t dt okay how about the right hand side the right hand side that is we're going to do the integration so integrate it you will have this one you will have v and integrate the exponent you will have et okay so now, okay, we are going to apply the, the right hand side of this formula, okay? So first, you should begin your answer with u multiplied with v. u multiplied with v, that is, the u is t squared and the v is exponent t, okay, exponent t. Okay, so we have t squared multiplied with v, okay? Oh, let me like it, okay? Just this. Um. Okay, and you follow by minus, minus, and integrate v. The v here is the e to the power of t. And you have the du. The du is actually 2t dt. So we have 2t dt. That's here, okay? So, again, before you integrate it okay so you need to simplify so we simplify we have t square here t square here minus we okay we have the two here two we pull out the two so we have t e power of t okay so at here but if you look at this integration what happened is now it's impossible for us to integrate it directly okay so what we suppose to what we supposed to do with this okay the thing that you need to do is actually try to apply the layout one more time okay so write the layout one more time and if you look at here again okay let's just identify what we have here we have the t first okay 
the T is go for the algebra. So we have the cheapers. So you have the cheapers. Okay. And then you will have the exponent. Okay. So means that, okay, the one that appears will be your U. So you have the U as T. And you have the dv, the dv that is your exponent, that is e exponent. So we're going to repeat the same step. Now we're going to differentiate the left hand side. So differentiate the left hand side, you have du and it's dt. You're going to integrate the right hand side. You integrate the right hand side, you have v and it is e t. Okay? So again, again, we're going to look at this formula because we apply the uh integration by part the second time okay but before we apply the formula okay let's just copy the first item that we have okay so we have t squared multiplied with et okay minus two okay so we're going to suffer with this okay we're going to look at um the um integration by part okay for this side okay so we're going to use the formula of this one so against so let's see what is the result. The result will be u multiply with v. u multiply with v that is actually give you t multiply with e to the power of t. Okay, minus, minus, okay, integrations of v. Integration of v that is integration of v that is e t. And du, what is your du? Your du is actually dt right dt okay so let us simplify one more time so we have t square dt minus 2t et and this one is actually give us positive 2 okay minus 2 with minus okay so we have positive 2 integration et dt right so so we have the first two item and let's just look at the last item that we have the last item is actually very simple to integrate right okay we can integrate it directly so then you integrate exponent so you go back the exponent okay and then forget to write up plus c so we are done for this example Okay, now I want you to try to solve these two questions by your own. Okay, see whether you can get the answer or not. 